No fancy edits on this one. We have the Izai in studio, and before we have to send our sample back to the wonderful people that lent it to us, we want to take a moment to compare it to e-paper. Now, you will notice that e-paper is never black in the background, so that is a distinctive fact that you will always know if something is e-paper or not. As it is turned off, you'll see I'll grab a Remarkable. It's completely turned off, but it will always be white in the background. However, if you have LCD LED devices like the Ezai or like your smartphone, it will be black when you turn it on or off like that. That is one way to know. This is sporting the Ezai, that it is easy on the eyes, it has reflective properties, it has low power consumption, but it still adds the benefit of being an alternative to e-paper technology and this is just e-paper so it's going to be the exact same thing you've always kind of experienced with kindles and fujitsu's and all that fun stuff so you will see that we have our computer plugged into it because this is a monitor first foremost and only it's not an ebook reader but it is sporting that it is marketing itself as e-paper alternatives so you will see you have no problem with refresh rates so that's not going to be a thing you're never gonna have problems with refresh on LED monitors like this one right here so there's going to be a distinct fact that this is going to be a usable piece of technology throughout anything you do with it full frame rate no drops e-paper as you can see is very stainy and laggy and slow the thing about e-paper though is it uses next to no battery and it will always look like this you can let this die run out of batteries and as long as there's nothing software driven in the way that says low battery low battery it will look like this forever it will always stain and the little particles move to the surface and it will look like that this needs to be powered in a wall to even work because it's a monitor it needs to be plugged in with an hdmi cable to even work because it's a monitor. But how does that amount to it being easy on your eyes? What is it about that? What it is is that you can actually turn it off, open the back panel, grab a light, and you can see that it illuminates itself. With e-paper, you're going to have to use a light on it or use the glow light like on some Amazons, Kindles, Onyx books, etc. This one utilizes natural light. When the light is turned off, the monitor is still on. This is not a stained image. This is, in fact, the web browser. I just have a handheld light here so I can show you exactly what's going on. You can also use ambient light from outside and overhead lights as well. This allows for low power consumption and you can utilize the light around you to illuminate the monitor. To give you guys a frame of reference, you can turn on glow lights on e-paper devices like this Amazon Kindle. Just so happens that the Sony DPT for size purposes doesn't have a glow light on it. But the Onyx Books X has that on there, no problem. So it just uh, comes down to what you want to use. When it comes to e-paper versus alternatives, there is never going to be an alternative. The closest LCD LED has come is MIP, in which case it's memory and pixel like Garmin watches. It displays the same kind of pixels like LED, and it doesn't use any power like e-paper. Right now, low power consumption or not, this e-paper device is not using any power. Zero. It doesn't use any power as long as wireless communications like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are turned off. This is using power. It's plugged into the wall. I have my PC off camera here. This is how we're testing. So that is a distinct difference between the Ease Eye and other devices. But when you put the Ease Eye next to other LCD LED monitors in its class, this one is traditionally lower power output. All the details will be down below in the description. So that in and of itself is a huge benefit that you get all of the refresh capabilities of it being as fast as you want it to with zero staining, zero drawback, full frame rate, and you don't suffer any of the lags that an e-paper device suffers from. Our LCD devices, MIP, TCL Next Paper, these are all competing alternative e-paper technologies that are trying to replace this, the inherent core e-paper experience with e-ink. This is what e-ink supplies the world with. No one has come close yet 
to replacing e-ink and i don't believe they ever will truly be replaced will they be competed against absolutely this is an absolute contender this is coming very close to what e-paper is able to do so whether you get e-paper and lcd monitor and led monitor like the ease eye these are the core differences you need to know between the two types of technologies for goodyreader.com this is peter